Hi, my name is Neil, and today I'm going to be talking about the traveling salesman problem. This is a very interesting problem that's been in computer science for a while, and it has very high rewards if you solve it. So, what is the traveling salesman problem? So, basically what a traveling salesman problem is, is you have multiple points on a map. Right now, let's say five. And you need the quickest route that, that starts on one of them and goes all the way, that starts on point one and goes to all of these. The brute force way to do it is you check all of the possibilities and then whichever one is best, you choose that one. But the problem is with the brute force approach, so the brute force approach, it solves the problem take a long time in fact the time grows exponentially each place you put so if you're going if you're going to solve a traveling salesman you cannot use the brute force because it's not going to help you much like a salesman like an actual salesman might have hundreds of houses it's gonna take like six months to do this, so it's useless. What it wants is something that can solve this in, an, in a couple of seconds, normal computer time. So, what are some other approaches? There are some approaches that give you kind of the best but not the best. That's not valid though. So let's start making the brute force a little bit better. So let's see, we have a bunch of points like this. And for each of them, we don't wanna have to keep on finding it out. Like from here to here, we might have to do this a hundred times because it will be in all the combo combinations and you'll keep on having to do it and it'll just waste your time. So one thing to do is, so let's give the names A, B, C, D, F, is that before you start doing it, you find out what each of them, what the um, distance, the time between them is going to be. So it would be, you would make like a dictionary and the key value and the key would be like A, B and the value would be the time. So you would list it for like A, B and B, C, F, E and so on. You would list it for all of them, you'd calculate it, and then you'd save it for when you need it here. Now, you see these ones, they're super close together. So when you keep on iterating over those, you're kind of wasting your time. So just to make, make it have less time, just if it's super close together, just the ones that are first in the alphabet go first and the ones that are last and that are later in the alphabet go next now this will give you the the best one mind you no one's actually solved it yet but this will help you better if you're trying to use a traveling salesman this is probably what you're gonna use or something like it so 
you have this. So whichever, you can kind of treat this whole thing as one of these points. So you don't have to do instead of a to b, a to instead of this, there wouldn't be no a to b. There would be like this whole group, let's call it a cl for cluster, so the cluster to f. Uh, D to F, cluster to D. Something like that would be what you do, and whatever you have. And at the end, if you have your thing, which let's say is E, F, D, and cluster, then you just replace this cluster with A, B, C, with A, B, C, and then you get E, F, D, uh, a, B, C, and that would be close to the old time same. So another one that, um, so that is another, that is one variant of the brute force approach. But there's another one that's a lot different and it's less accurate, but it's going to take you less time. So this is what you do. You have, you have your points, let's say you have, you have one starting point, right? This is your starting point that's just, that's where you have to start. And then you have place one, place two, place three, place four, and place five. And let's say we're, you're doing a round trip. So in this way, you calculate S to one, S to two, S to three, S to 4 and S to 5, and you calculate them. The one with the least time, you bring out to the next. So let's say th what, 2 has the least time. Now you, you go 2 and 1, 3, 4, 5. Now you, go, you do, do the time from 2 to 3. 2 to 1, 2 to 4, and 2 to 5. Now, whichever one is closest, let's say 5, then this is your next. So, and then you repeat it again. Let's say you pick 4 then. Then after this, you pick 3. And then you only have one. So with this, it won't give you the exact, but it'll kind of give you, it'll give you a good-ish one, and it'll take less time. So if you're gonna build a like service, like Google Maps or something, you're probably either gonna use this or the modified brute force. So it, this would give you S to 2 to 5 to 3 or to 5 to 4 to 3 to 1. And that is, that's another one. So that's all we're going to talk about for today. I'll talk to you more about Traveling Salesman later. Please like, share, and subscribe. I'm Neil Kumar.